please comment on the idea of changing people's minds. Uh, it's tough, you know? It's, uh, it's tough, changing people's minds. When I was doing the research, and I, I really, I've been meaning to look this up since, and I, I will at some point and read it and ponder it. It's really chilling. I was doing the research for the fall of Rome, and in it, one of the guys was saying that, like, you know, what's the point of trying to change people's minds? Everyone has their mind made up by the time they're 10. And it's just debilitating and useless and exhausts everyone. And that is, a, that is a very real possibility. That is a very real possibility. And can you change people's minds? I think it's almost two thirds of one's, like in twin studies, about two thirds of people's perspective on immigration is genetic. It's genetic. Political beliefs have significant genetic bases. That's tough, man. Which means that left versus right, to take a cliched example, is a genetic battle. In, in Not 100% people change their minds and so on. It happens, right? Certainly it's happened with me, but you have to be really dedicated to reason and evidence to change your mind on something. But... What if it's a genetic battle? What if trying to turn someone into a free market person, if that person is a dedicated socialist, what if it's like trying to talk them into changing their eye color or their height or... Uh, well, I mean, if that's the case, man, we're kind of doomed. We really are. Then all of this is just blah, blah until the, the, big, uh, the big guns come out, right? So I hope not. I hope not. All right.